All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight we're gonna be checking out a new demo for a game called Be Crowned. Looking at the trailer and the screenshots and stuff for this game, it looks like this is very reminiscent of old school Silent Hill. And I love, love Silent Hill. We've got the remake for Silent Hill 2 coming out in a couple of weeks or about a week and a half or so. And I absolutely cannot wait. This one caught my attention. I figured we'd check this one out. I think the demo is about an hour long. I think you're in some sort of mental institution or something like that looking for your dad. It looks really creepy. So I figured we'd check it out. So sit back and let's play Be Crowned. Oh, and we even get to use tank controls. I know a lot of people hate tank controls, but I love them. I'm definitely going to use those. Memory is the true source of strength. A person who remembers their past is strong. A person who remembers their family is strong. A person who remembers their duty is also strong. this <sighs> what kind of person are you Damn, how long have I been here? My head hurts so much as though something is tearing through my brain. All I can remember is running into this elevator to escape that monster. After that, it's just darkness. So move, run, interact. I think the elevator is broken. Looks like it. I can't even tell if it goes up or down. It's an old war poster. It reminds me of the ones I saw when I was a young boy. A sharp pain runs through my head when I look at it. Oh, what is this? Go forth and fear not what lies ahead. Do not forget our agreement. You've braved the journey thus far. You should know failure is not an option. It is time. Welcome to Carpenter Asylum. Oh, great. Well, at least I have my flashlight. Paul's menu and inventory is triangle. We don't have any weapons. Flashlight. Old flashlight I found in the abandoned hotel. We got a radio. Supplies. We got some painkiller. I'd be lying if I said I never took these even before this whole nightmare started. Alright. Got a m well, I said we had a map, but we no no notebook or map of this place. Okay. Notes. Nothing. Alright. We got the flashlight. All right. Yes, this definitely looks like like PlayStation One, Silent Hill, which is a good thing. Oh, whoa! Shit! 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 Oh, damn! We're starting off strong. What the fuck was that thing? It feels like I'm losing my mind. I don't want to go out there now. Do I have to? I have to. Damn it. 
Psychiatric ward, rehabilitation ward, military ward, family ward. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I wouldn't have la Oh, damn it. I, I don't know what it said. I wouldn't have lasted something. Uh, Painkillers. Oh, what happened to this this person? Ouch. I suppose he has no use for this anymore. Um, well, let me equip that. Dull knife. It doesn't cause serious damage, but it can still be useful. How do you use it? Oh, not like that. Okay. Oh, that's such a... Like, terrible little swing, man. Gotta put some oomph behind it. You're gonna kill some monsters. If we're gonna kill that thing that just chased us back into the elevator. Man. I don't think we stand a chance. It's locked. But I can hear someone's footsteps on the other side of the door. Knock on the door? Sure. Visiting hours are over. Please come back tomorrow. Knock on the door. Try it again. One more one more time. The patients are asleep. Do not disturb them. Should I knock again? Let's, let's see. Stop banging on the door or I will have to call the police. Call the police. Maybe they can tell me what the hell's going on here. Get. Oh, oh, oh. Now she's mad. Get the fuck out of here. That sounded like the ele elevator open. It looks like this place already hates me. Oh, what the hell is that? I'm in a trap. Combat stance and attack. Press and hold is strong attack. Switch targets. Oh, that's a that's a better attack. Oh, get him! Oh shit! All right. My mind is flooded with a strange noise when those creatures are nearby. Oh, it sounded like the the radio. Looks like they dropped something. Oh, some ammo. Just need me a gun. Can I go in here? Elevator call button is broken. I need to find another way out of here. Oh, now they're open. Whoa, this camera angle is messing with me. It keeps flying over my head. This place seems familiar. F familiar? I might have been here before. Not as a patient, of course. Is it doing that because I'm hurt? Oh, yeah, I'm injured. Okay. Damn, that did not take much. Um... Oh, now I'm wounded. Shit. Okay, so we have... I don't remember what the other one said. Healthy, wounded, and injured? My diary? What the hell is it doing here? Could it be that I lost it in this asylum? No, none of this makes sense. No, notebook and map. Not much of a map. A map of this floor. The water damage makes it far too difficult to read, though. Patient records are stored here. One of the flies, what, flies, one of the files is soaked in blood and almost falling out of the drawer. The text is barely legible, but I can make out a few lines. Patient file, date of birth, 11-13-1933, date of request, 5-19-1980, last visit, 5-15-1985. Dr. Franz Heiser, 
Diagnosis, P, uh, CPTSD with increasing paranoid psychosis. Main treatment types, light psychotherapy, medical treatment, including uh, am, amusalpridum. I don't know how to say that. Complications, leg paralysis, aggressive behavior. The next part is illegible. Mm, something right here. He's looking at it like I can... Come on, the little eye's popping up. Oh, it's turning it off and all. Can I check the computer? Painkillers? Definitely need that since I think that thing hit me one time and put me in the red. I think it only hit me once. Beautiful feather. Oh, it's up there beside my status. What is that for then? Pack of cigarettes. The brand was discontinued over a decade ago. Dahlia Black. Or like Black Dahlia. Pack of cigarettes. Smoking causes heart disease. It's impressive, but it's a little ex extravagant for an asylum, I think. WC. That's the uh, bathroom, right? What? I think it means wa uh, wash closet? I think that's what they're called in Europe. Anyway, painkiller. Or water closet, not wash closet. Water closet, I think is what it is. It's just a toilet. Surprisingly, it's probably the cleanest thing in this place. The door is locked from the other side. I hear it, but where is it at? here is it in the stall now oh yeah oh all that blood oozed out the door is locked from the other side all right well i'm gonna leave it alone whatever's in there it needs its privacy ward six what is that it's got an eyeball and hands knock I need to keep up. Does it mean I can knock on the door? I don't know. It says I need a key. All right. What is this one? Definitely need a key for this one. Or uh, we're not getting in there at all. There are metal chains on the door. I need a proper tool. Yeah. Need more than a key. Dr. Franz Heiser. Okay. We need a combination. Just empty drawers. Nothing interesting. Just empty drawers. Got me something in here, right? Just empty drawers. Maybe not. All right, let's. Yeah, we can go down this hallway. Maybe we'll have better luck down here. What is this? Showers? The door is locked. I need a key. Well, shit. We got to be able to go in somewhere. Oh. Is this moving or is it glitching? I, I think I hear somebody crying. The entry to the next floor is blocked. I wonder if the patients did this. This door doesn't look like it belongs here. It's locked from the other side. Treatment room. Hey, finally. Painkiller. Some dark period in this history 
Some dark period in the history of this place has been frozen in time. The medical instruments are extremely outdated, resembling something that would be used in torture rather than anything else. What do they even treat here? Isn't it strange for an asylum to have an operating theater like this? In any case, I doubt this guy was being treated for schizophrenia. Actually, up, upon closer inspection, it looks like they sewed his stomach shut. It's like he's looking at that. Is that just the dark period thing? It looks like he's looking at those papers. Like I should be able to read them. Okay, is there nothing in here that I can... No key, no code, no nothing. Oh, you know what? Let's, um... I going to say, look at my notes. Notes, patient file. Thought maybe these dates or something would be, uh, could be the passcode, but nothing um, looks like it would be oh 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 I didn't even see this fella sitting here Richard is it really you I've been waiting for so long trapped in this living hell I'm so tired but we can now escape this together go through the door on the left and find me I will explain everything who is that go to the door on the left I can't maybe I would break these with boards with something I'll cut them down with a knife. Oh, is it actually working? Oh, I didn't expect it to work. I, I figured I'd have to find, you know, like something. Like an actual, some, something with a little more, you know, weight behind it. Guess not. What the fuck? Dad? First aid kit. Yep. Heiser's note number one. I must admit, Clint's unwavering strength surprises me. No, it frightens me. How many times have we pried him from the afterlife? Even years after its expiry date, his stubborn heart insists on beating. But I wonder, is it out of love or spite? Clint. Maybe that was Clint. North Hall. Check that in a minute. Gross, this isn't just rotten food. These are someone's entrails. Hmm. This picture looks suspicious. Well, at least there's one thing in this asylum that isn't absolutely horrifying. Eating schedule and all kinds of notices. Nothing interesting. Shotgun ammo. It's like one shotgun shell. Gross, it's entrails. Alright, I guess that's in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, huh. I've been running around forever. I figured out where to go. Let me show you since I uh, probably cut a lot of this out. It's just in the kitchen. It's this door over here in the corner. I I must have ran right by it. All right. Now we can get to whatever he dropped. Hopefully a key. I really hope I was just seeing things. This entire asylum feels like it was built upon someone's sick fantasy. It can't be mine though, right? Shower room key. Oh. Oh. Thing was huge. My my little knife is not gonna is not gonna do well against this. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit! <laughs> All right, we're just gonna run from it. Oh shit! 
Is there another one? Okay. Sound like there's still still one in this hallway with me. <laughs> Alright, shower room was right here. Is this a shower room? Yeah. Oh, the hands. Does the hand mean I have what I need? Is that is that what it means? Okay. The the hands that are white, they're lined in white. It means oh, I have the item I need. Okay. Uh, my radio is going off. What does that mean? A pile of dirty clothes with an old toy blaster tangled within the bundle of rags. It looks very familiar. Captain Perks blaster. Fuck, that smell is unbearable. The radio is spitting out all kinds of noise as if it's reacting to something. I should take a look at it. Open your inventory and find the radio. L to change frequencies. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay. These monsters only pretend that they want to help me. I mean, shit, that fucking nurse ridicules and tortures me. That witch drenched me in boiling hot water in the showers. Does she really think that if I'm paralyzed from the waist down, then I can't feel anything in my legs? I finally got my chance, though. I managed to quietly snatch the key to the ward while she turned around to grab the shampoo bottle. I've hidden it in one of the toilets, but I need to move fast. I have to escape before they torture me even more. There's no one here I can trust. Looks like there's something sitting there. Okay, so, um... The toilet that was clean... I didn't expect to have a lot of, like, jump scares, like, it's kind of having so far. Um, the bathroom, right? The toilet that was surprisingly clean. Or, no, it's probably that one that's, the blood's coming out of it. Maybe Clint wasn't lying after all. I can see something inside. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just right there. Ward number six key. Cool. Alright, where's ward number six? Right here. Oh, we got a gun. Alright. My dad used to carry a similar one when he was a cop. Ah, you finally remember the face of your father. However, I'm afraid there's much more to uncover. Rest for a moment. A long, arduous journey still remains. Oh, save point. Okay. He has struggled in ways you cannot comprehend, and yet you refuse to acknowledge his emotions and humanity. I didn't mean to look at the TV again. I thought something was right here. But it was just the TV. Some ammo. Nice. Some more ammo. What a mess. There are medical tools and equipment lying around all over the place. A scalpel. Oh, I need to go cut that dude open. This rifle is only a replica. Unfortunately for me, it can't actually shoot. Oh, I need to maybe cut this one. Cut this, use the scalpel hill. Here. Ugh, I'm so damn exhausted. My neighbor always shared his cigarettes, but he is gone now. Say, if you find me a cigarette, I'll tell you a little secret. Okay, man laid up in the hospital bed, clearly dying. I'll gladly give you a cigarette. 
Thank you, kind stranger. One more thing, though. You wouldn't have a lighter by any chance. Ah, damn it. Nothing sadder than an unlit cigarette, I say. No, don't have that. Don't have that. I'm sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think I just glitched behind this chair. This chair's, oh my. Dude, that's not cool. I'm stuck. He walked right over that. Oh, oh. Ah, we got it. I thought I was about to have to restart the game. Or reload the game. I just saved, thankfully. Alright, we're going to... The, uh... Wherever that, wherever that dude was laid up. I gotta cut him open. Is he gonna have a lighter in his chest? That'd be weird. Treatment room? This must be it. Yep. It says I have the right item, so this must be it. Sorry, pal. I have to do this. <clears throat> he had a lighter in him. Okay. Oh shit, that means there's a monster. Oh, there's a there's a couple monsters. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh shit, there's another one. Holy god. They're everywhere. Oh. Oh shit, no, 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 no. We gotta get out of here. Jesus. Listen, the anesthetic wasn't too strong last time, so I managed to overhear Heiser and Mary talking. I just about caught a few words, enough to piece together the new door code. Hey, here we go. It's not much to share with you, but I definitely don't need it anymore. Maybe you'll have more use for it. 6754. Don't you forget it. 6754. Oh, damn. Just died. Life after war was not easy, Richard. You should have understood that. No. Oh. That wasn't always written on the wall. Surely I would have seen that. He wrote it on the wall for me just before he died. Appreciate it, man. Six. Seven. We gotta go fast. Holy shit. Poem by Dr. F. Heiser. The raven's shrill call awoke the slumbering creature within its coffin, and so the call of the depths echoed. A mad man slashed at the curtains of hell, raising the biting demons, raising the biting demons bound by endless pain, now plotting their schemes against mankind. Note to self, find evening poetry classes to attend. The poetry suits the doctor. Hmm, that's a pretty decent collection right there. Get a bunch of like classic horror books. Cool, cool, cool. Is that it right there? What's this? Looks like some more ammo. Oh, a beautiful feather. What are the beautiful feathers for? King figurine. I wonder what that's for. I never liked this figurine. Oh, what am I? What was he looking at? He's trying to look at something. The head doctor is German. With a name like Heiser, it's definitely German, huh? I suppose that's why this place has an operating theater. Letter from Doctor F. Heiser. Dear Max, how have you been? I heard that you've fallen seriously ill and you were unable to visit us as a result. I hope it's nothing too serious. We have received the medication you sent us, and I plan to test it on one of our patients. He's a former soldier who suffers from PTSD. P PTSD. However, he continues to become more unstable and aggressive towards both other patients and the staff. Just this morning, he bit Maria's hand and even attempted to strangle her. His violent outbursts are becoming more frequent, and I'm considering transferring him into a private room. He's a danger to everybody in the shared ward. 
I can only hope your medication will help him regain his sanity. I must also thank you for your kind and thoughtful gift. My gothic literature collection now contains the words of Robert Bl Block Blotch. Thanks to you, my friend. I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right. I really needed this. The stress of the job is taking its toll on me. Sometimes it feels like I'm losing my mind. I'm uh, far too old for this nonsense. Perhaps retirement is the only answer. I wish you a swift recovery and hope you will pay us a visit soon. Your friend, Dr. F. Heiser. My ex an experimental drug. That was uh, that makes me think of my dad's episodes. He never stopped ran rambling on about that kind of thing, even at the end. It was a lot to deal with. Psycho. Need to go put this on the shelf then, right? Maybe something will happen. Maybe something will open. Just make sure there's nothing else over here. Okay. Oh. Um. Can we? Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 I see. I see. No. 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 I want to take these back. Okay. Um. Can I move? Okay. So psycho's up there. We've got one, two, three, four. There's five, and then nine. All right, you know what? I think I figured it out. This poem. This is it, I think. So the raven, the raven's shrill call awoke the slumbering creature within its coffin. And so the call of the depths echoed. A madman slashed at the curtains of hell, raising the biting demons bound by endless pain, now plotting their schemes against mankind. Okay, so this is this is the order so we've got um let's look at these books again see which one we got so the raven conspiracy against the human race dracula hellraiser call of cthulhu dracula okay i think dracula is going to be second let's see call awoke slumbering the creature within its coffin okay so it's raven then it's dracula so called uh and the so and so the call of the depths echoed a madman slashed at the curtains of hell that's psycho raising the biting demons bound by endless pain uh, psycho let's uh, I'm not super familiar with with all of these so the call of the depths echoed oh the call the call of Cthulhu dumbass all right so the raven you got the raven um, Dracula call of Cthulhu psycho uh, the biting demons and then the plot so, okay what I say I said uh, the call of C no dragon I mean, dragon Dracula Call of Cthulhu, Psycho, Hellraiser, Conspiracy. What? Ugh. That wasn't it. Oh. I think I was missing that because it, cause it's arranged in like six lines. I think I was missing that. It's a, I think there's two in that one line. Mad, Madman slash to the curtains of hell. I think it's Psycho, then Hellraiser. Okay, so we'll try Raven. Then Dracula, then the call of Cthulhu, Madman slashed at the curtains of hell, so Psycho, Hellraiser, and then Conspiracy. What? That wasn't, dude. All right, let's try this one. Maybe it's the Raven, because it says the Raven's shrill call Maybe it's the call first and the call of Cthulhu first, then Dracula. And so the call of the depths echoed a madman slashed at the curtains of hell. So 
Psycho Hellraiser Conspiracy. Nothing. And I feel like I've tried every order of this this poem that just makes sense and it's just not working. Oh, this thing moved. What? Didn't I put it in that order like 20 times? I, all right. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm confused. Read the books in the right order. Okay. Now that we got them in the order, now the books are arranged in the correct order. I Look, I did that. I did Raven, Dracula, Call of Cthulhu, Psycho, Hellraiser, Conspiracy. I did that like, seriously, like 10 times in a row, did I not? That was weird. Now the books are arranged in the correct order. Okay, uh, so two, one, three, nine, four, six. Two, one, three, nine, four, six. Two, one, three, nine, four, six. At least that worked. North Hall Key. Oh my gosh. I'm fussing, you know, but I, uh, these are the, I love these kind of puzzles. These, these are the kind of puzzles that make me love Silent Hill. I, I like when they work, but, you know, I like them. Or I prefer them when they work. Oh shit, come on. Come on. There we go. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Let's uh let's do um first aid kit. Still wounded? What? All better. Alright, we got the North Hall key, right? So the north north hall is uh Wait a minute, wasn't uh that was, a table was in the way, wasn't it? Nope. Oh, 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 oh. This was, uh, North Hall was in here, I believe. Who's that? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Nice shot, Richard. I can see something attached to his belt. But who is this man? He reminds me of someone. Stop with the camera. Storage. All right, it's open. Good, 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 good. Childhood drawing. A drawing I made when I was a child. It's a little violent though. Can't use this item here. Yeah, I was trying to just look at it. I was gonna see if it would show me anything. 
This, no it can't be. None of this is real, I'm just seeing things. came from this is the this is the right way we got training room there's something off-putting about these anatomical drawings they seem inhuman This is that strange door I couldn't open. Uh, it's me and dad. Looking closely, there's something scribbled on the back. My sun, my light, my burning star. Oh, is that probably a hint to something? Oh, the door's open now. I think I should go back down that hallway. How much ammo do I have? Um, I don't have any more ammo in supplies, so whatever I got in my gun is it, I guess. No. I thought it was a monster. Mm, sounds like something's up here. Okay, we're good, we're good. my old room yep this is my room I love video games me too buddy they help me escape from the darkness of reality for a while so I have the item let's see what it says there should be something pinned up on this one. oh the, the picture I drew the the violent bloody picture I still can't believe I drew this Still can't believe I drew this. Okay. Was it? Maybe that did something. There are familiar figurines on the on the drawer. There's just one asshole missing, the king. Here we are. I used to fix all my toys myself right here on this desk. Captain Perks Galactic Blaster was my favorite of them all. But it was so brittle I had to constantly repair it. Oh. We got that one too. I'm sorry, I don't have the time to fix you right now, my old friend. Next time though, I promise. What was that sound? Hello? Seemed to come from the neighboring ward. I'm locking myself in my room. I'm not coming out. He just can't let go. We tried our best to help. You've gotten much further than we ever did, after all. That corrupt version of you has vanished for good. Oh, this dude is, uh... He's dead. He's dead now. Can I get over there, now that he's dropped that thing? 
Oh, oh, oh. That looks like a monster. Is that... Oh. That's the inside of the cabinet. I'm, I'm a little paranoid. No projector. Somehow it's still in working condition. So I need an item for this. I don't have it. Wonder what it is. Let's see if this thing was. This uh, gate maybe is open now. Oh, what? That's weird. Okay, he's just here now, so I can I can get to him. Oh, he's on this side of it. He was on... He was over there. That's weird. An old film reel. Okay. Now we can use a projector then. He was on the other side of that gate, right? I'm not... I'm not crazy? I think Richard is a little crazy. But I don't think I'm crazy. Oh, she's creepy as shit. I don't like her. I do not like her at all. Oh, what is she doing? What's she cut? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Am I imagining things or did something just fall out from under that screen? A bolt cutter. Oh, whoa, we can cut those chains. Uh, not quite. Oh, is this like the dark world now? Shotgun ammo. Oh, they're loading us up for a fight. Well, this is something new. Yeah, they're loading us up for a fight. Got us a save point. Yep. Some ammo. Let's uh, load up the gun. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why that made me jump. I I was worried that it would just fire and, and waste bullets instead of reloading, which is what I was trying to do. Forces even greater than those that beckoned you into this loop will pass judgment on your actions. I hadn't saved in a while. Damn. And I bet this is the type of game where you die, you start from where you saved. So, we're good now. I don't have a shotgun, though. I got some shotgun ammo, but I have no shotgun. I need to find me one of them. Oh, it's like a... Looks like a war zone outside. Oh shit. Oh! God damn! That's loud as shit. Oh, shotgun! 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 Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to use two... Two rounds for that. I guess I could have just ran around them. I just got excited because I had a shotgun now. Um... Where the hell am I at? What did I say? Need to watch the screen more often? Um, I don't know where the hell I'm at. Oh, 
what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shh. What? Shit, I did start me back at the save point. Okay, well, that's fine. I just will not, um, I'll get the shotgun and I won't use it. And waste that ammo. I didn't expect an enemy to explode and kill me. Time. Go. All right, so I figured out the stamina, I think, or the running. Looks like he runs out of stamina, but you don't really know when he's going to do it. And then he'll just randomly start running again. So. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got past him. Are you still following me, dude? Go. So you gotta like conserve your your running. Oh shit, shit, shit. Yes. Go into the air vent. Get the hell away from these things. Why would you do this to me? It wasn't my fault. This was all your choice. You're the one who left, and for what? To come back a monster? Okay. Are we safe for now? Okay, can't go that way. So that's completely closed off now. We need to go down here. Oh, we can uh, cut the cut the things off the the door right here. Um, where was the save point though? Treatment room. It was in the treatment room, right? I don't even think I can get there though. That was in the other hallway. Hopefully, there's a save point here. Do you really want to test me? Make me feel sorry? Scare me? Do you think I deserve this? Shit. Fuck. Oh, no, no. Heiser's note number two. There are fleeting moments where he regains his sanity in between his hallucinations. He said he's still waiting for his son, Richard. Okay, so, all right. So, Clint is Heiser's patient. All right. It's the hope that he'll uh, see him again that motivates the old man to keep on fighting. The war left a deep, dark stain on his mind, and the demons of his past continue to haunt him both in his dreams and reality. He's heartbroken, abandoned. No one can heal his wounds, not even me. 
Shotgun ammo. What is this? A wrench. So we have no more handgun ammo, do we? Just shotgun ammo. Damn. That one was hard to kill. I shot him like four or five, six times, something like that. How was that? Oh, okay. It was oh, fallen, so I can't go back. Okay. I need a save point. Save point. This nightmare never ceases to amaze me. Hey, just don't come alive, okay? That's the last thing I need. For sure. Boiler room. Please no monsters, please no monsters, please no monsters. Oh, there's something. The pipe is broken. Can't do nothing with that yet. I gotta find a find a pipe. Find a piece of a pipe. What's this? Morgue. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Another code, so we gotta find another code. Oh, what is this? A valve is missing here. I wonder what will happen if I fix this thing. Clint note number two. I came back for you to make up for those lost years. I was punished enough on that hellish battlefield, more than enough to pay for my sins. Despite all of that, all I got in return were endless accusation and was accusations and was labeled a psychopath. Yet that wasn't enough torment though, of course, since you then decided to send me here. Why would you do this? What am I guilty of? All I want is your forgiveness. What else must I do? I can't take another shot. I'm begging you. Oh, did Richard, like, send his father? Have his father committed or something? There's a fam familiar symbol on this valve. Open the valve? Sure. I don't know. Familiar symbol. Close the valve. No. No. No, don't. Stop. Stop. Stop it! I clicked no! I clicked no! Dude, why is it... No! Stop it! Oh, it's like glitching out on me now. Alright, so I had to reload the game and start from my previous save point, but I made it back. The, the game just completely glitched out on me. It froze. It would not let me get out of this this little valve interaction. Um, probably any other game, I would have been like, fuck this. I don't want to play all that again. But I really like this game a lot. This very Silent Hill-like, like I've already said. And uh, I, want to, I want to see how it ends. So we're going to keep going. What in the world, man? All right, so there's three valves. Okay, I need, and then there's this fourth one. It looks like it's missing. If I can get the camera to turn right, jeez. All right, the tub is filled with some kind of revolting substance. It might even be corrosive. Even if I were dying, there's no way I'm putting my hand in there. All right. Um, map? Does map have me any? Is there anything at the bottom of the tub? I need a save point so I don't have to do oh hey look there there you go thank god
God. That irritates me. I was so close to a save point when it froze and I had to restart. Ah. That's all right. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That's a, blow that's a blowing up. Okay. I was, I was far enough away. Operating theater. The door's locked. I need a key. I don't have any keys, right? I have just the... Uh... Oh, the wrench. I didn't even realize the wrench is a weapon. I thought it was just an item. Okay. All right, we'll hold on to this. I don't want to use my ammo. It looks like I should be able to go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to go through there. It looks like it's open, but it's like really hazy. First aid kit. Some ammo. Nice, nice, nice. The void is swallowing everything up. Awesome. Heiser's note number three. The experimental treatment with the new drug is showing promising results despite the patient's resistance. However, one downside is that Clint's paranoia is worsening. He rambles about disturbing stories that even a man with a sick imagination wouldn't be able to think of. In order to placate Clint, I've changed the color of the drug from yellow to red. His aversion to yellow substances stems from his delusions of a similarly colored drug that was administered during the war. He went in there. Oh, oh, I forgot. I can bust these down. Yeah. There we go. Hey, there's the pipe. What did it say? Picnic? Picnic is a lie? Picnic is a lie. It's random. Ah, damn it. Now there's enemies. Let me save, just in case I get my ass kicked. Excuse me, excuse me. It's not right there. It's not right there. It's a uh, boiler room. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so now we can turn this, right? It worked. Oh, op operating theater key. Oh, is that what it was? I had to turn the turn the water on, and it like threw out the key. No, oh, they're really close. They're really close. So can scooch by you there, buddy. Yep. Operating theater was right here. Yes. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! If I can. Oh, shit! I gotta fight. Mm. Fucking kill him, dude. Oh, I need to use a radio, but I need to use some some uh, painkillers first. Okay, I'm good. All right, radio right here.
There's another patient in the morgue. It was that soldier who suffered burns all over his body in one of the battles. You shared a cigarette with him. Yes, that's my boy. But it would do you good to meet with him again. Listen to your father and you'll find the code for the lock. Oh, and while I remember, I overheard a conversation between the staff that the numbers must be entered in descending order. So don't forget that. I know you hear me. I know. I know. Descending order. Okay, well, there's numbers all over the wall there. Was that yellow syringe? Father didn't trust anything yellow. So we got was one eight three four. One eight three four. So descending order eight four three one. What the hell happened here? Eight four three one. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, okay, it's just the radio glitching out on me. Right, so eight, eight, four, three, one. Let's go to the morgue before we forget. Uh, let's back here. Right. It was uh, beside the boiler room, I believe. Excuse me. Why'd the mop, the, the map, the mop, the map pull up? Father always told me the story about being f far. What? Far something drugged in the war? What? Oh. Ouch. Pick it up. I see it. Pick it up. If my dad really was telling the truth, then the drug was tested on you, too. No, that's pure insanity. Though I suppose everything else in this place is far from normal. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Private ward key. Private ward. Um, let's see, I think I know what door that is. That's the, the one in the, the big room right here, right? This one. Go, 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 before they kill you. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, no. All this ammo? Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, let's go save. Because <laughs> they're, they're, they're building me up for something. What? You motherfucker. Right before I could save, too. Bruh. These painkillers suck. Okay. Yeah, don't you oh. dude he spit all the way across the damn room all right let's get uh get the handgun i don't automatically want to use just like all of my shotgun ammo hey it's dead so it all led up to this this hell you put me through well your reckless son is here now So the son who left his poor old man to rot in this asylum finally decided to show up. Too fucking late. They gave me another shot. I can't control it. If you want to live, Richard, you'd better run. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, one hit? 
Oh man, I I'm glad I saved. Holy shit. One hit? I'm just, I'm not gonna shoot him right off the bat because I, I feel like that's what's making him like. I don't know, like rage and dive for me. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, what? I can't. I can't do anything. He's got to I got to wait till he like charges me and then shoot him, I guess. wasn't bad. Just had to figure out what to do. Sorry, Dad. Where do I go? What do I do? room yeah there's nowhere else. nowhere else in this room so I guess we just go back out oh refusing to decide is a choice in itself I admire your attitude now you may rest for a short while in the face of your father bid one last farewell oh oh no I need that was a save point I need to definitely make sure I save Oh, it's not a save point. It just looks like one. That's a mean trick. No. no father at least not in the way that matters I abandon you when you needed me most the war chewed me up and spat me out I became a mangled mess of the man I once was not that I was anything that great to begin with we weren't drugged up on the battlefield back there it was hell on earth running through the explosions choking on the polluted air it was so difficult to see clearly our squad ran into a group of enemy soldiers and without hesitation I took aim but we were mistaken. I only realized once the flames lit up, their uniform and those familiar faces writhed in agony. I stood there and watched their skin melted beneath the blaze of my flamethrower. Oh shit. A darkness spread within me like a tumor, and I attributed its origin to some fantasy. Perhaps if I repeated this lie enough, it would become true. But that desperation, that desperate incantation consumed me. If only I accepted the truth instead. It would have been difficult, and I would have still had some darkness to fight. But for once, I wouldn't have been selfish. I could have proved myself as a father, no matter my imperfections. I don't blame you for sending me here. After all, there was nothing you could do to save me. I was so stubborn, but so was my love for you, Richard. It was the only thing that kept me alive for so long. My son, I am so sorry. Thank you for coming to see me one last time. Damn. He forgives me, even though I was so angry and full of hatred towards him, he still forgives me. 
There's nothing I can do now to redeem myself, but I will have my revenge. I will not be broken by those visions of the past. The evil in this world will not bring me to my knees. I will not surrender. I've survived father's pain and I will fight through the rest. Ah, uh, okay. The loop will be broken and it will be at my hands. See you on the other side, dad. That's it. Wow. Definitely going to be adding that to the wish list. Be playing the full version as soon as it comes out. It's being developed by a small indie studio made up of only a few people. Well, they're doing a fantastic job. I really liked this a lot. Um, other than a couple of glitches we encountered. Uh, but... That, I mean, honestly, it's a demo. That's kind of to be expected. It's a work in progress. The little Valve one was was a little a little frustrating. But overall, this was really a damn good demo. Um, it was long. It was a it was a long demo. I mean, it took me a little while because the puzzles kind of kind of threw me for a loop there. But it was it was a a, a beefy demo. Uh, and there's a lot going on in the story for sure. They fleshed this out and keep it going and make it into a longer game, like a full, you know, eight, 10 hour game, something like that. This would be a really, really damn good game to play through. I already said it a couple times, but this is like, like straight out of Silent Hill, like Silent Hill formula. The music sounded like it, the aesthetic, the, the, the battle, the, uh, the, uh, the combat, the puzzles, obviously the, the people who are developing this game like Silent Hill and are, are and are inspired by Silent Hill. Uh, which is great. I, I love that franchise. I've already said that a few times in this video. I, I love especially the old Silent Hills, like 1 through 4, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, that era. More of that is just always better. Add it to the wish list if you want to check it out when it comes out, but we're definitely going to be doing a playthrough of it on this channel, so uh, I hope you'll join me back for that. hope you enjoyed this playthrough of the demo, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.